if you ask the Jets, they still have a chance at one and six. Why not? That's what you have to do in the National Football League. And a man who uh, covers a team for the New York Daily News has been sort of on fire of late writing an obituary of Rex Ryan and a fake conversation between Rex Ryan and the general manager, John Isaac. Uh, Manish Mehta joining me on the program. How are you, Manish? I'm good, Rich. How are you doing? You've put creative writing to use lately, Manish. I've noticed that. <laughs> Well, there's uh, there's not much to talk about on the field, at least through seven weeks. So, what Percy Harmon out there? How's this going to work? What do you think? How's that going over? Yeah, I mean, look, it's it's an interesting move. Probably a move that they they needed to make uh, in the off season. They had players who were available. Obviously, Deshaun Jackson comes to mind, and they decided to to pass on him. But uh, look, it's too late for 2014 if you're talking about making the playoffs and you're being objective and realistic about it. Uh, what I think Percy Harmon can do is really give the decision makers, John Idzik, people in the front office, uh, a, a better way to evaluate Geno Smith over these last nine games. We've, we've talked about lack of weapons in his rookie season, and to a certain degree, uh, you know, it, it's a little bit less for the first six weeks because he did have Eric Decker. But you add a guy like Percy Harvin into the mix, you can't really make that excuse anymore that the, the young quarterback doesn't have enough weapons. So I think they want to see how Geno responds having an additional guy on offense who can make plays for him and then ultimately make a decision on Geno after the season. But here's the issue that I have. Maybe this is the New Yorker coming in out of me, Manish, but so be it. Is that isn't this what the offseason is for? To evaluate a coach, a general manager, a quarterback, an offense? That's what the non-playing season is for. It seems that every playing season in recent years, ever since, I guess, the Tannenbaum era came to a conclusion. So I guess this is now two years in a row where the coach is being evaluated, everybody's evaluating the general manager's decision-making, but maybe he's now being evaluated. The quarterback, Geno Smith, is being evaluated on the field. Now you've got Percy Harvin needing nine games to prove his worth moving on for a contract that gets more expensive if you choose to make, make your decision this way. At what point did the playing season actually use for playing games to win football games? <laughs> well, I thought they were optimistic entering the season. They thought they had enough weapons on offense, and believe it or not, they thought they had the proper players in the secondary, and clearly that's shown to not to be the case through these first seven weeks. And that's really just a, you know, an error in judgment, in free agency, in, in the draft, uh, and ultimately that, that comes back to the general manager. Obviously there are a lot of moving parts, and, and, and there are certain injuries that took place. Dee Milner comes to mind. But even if Dee Milner, for example, were healthy, I think the secondary still would be going through the struggles that they did. So you need better player evaluation in the offseason, in free agency, in the run-up to the draft. You need to select better players. I know that sounds pretty simple, uh, and there are other dynamics at play, but at the heart of it, that's the main problem. They don't have enough good players on this roster right now. Well, is there a scenario where, let's say, look, the Jets finish 4-5 and five the rest of the way. That gives them a 5 and 11 record. Let's even just flip it. Five and four. They finish above 500 for Rex, who one thing that you can say about him is these guys don't quit on him. He still has them locked in. That makes them six and ten. Does Rex still keep his gig and Isaac still has him and they just go ahead and not tack on another year on his deal and they keep Geno Smith and they just try it again one more time and we spend another season wondering if the GM's the right guy, the coach is the right guy, the quarterback's the right guy. Is that possible? I think in that scenario, there will be a change at quarterback uh, and uh, at the head coaching position. Now, obviously, if Gino plays lights out over these nine games and they still go 5-4, that changes the equation. But if Gino is so-so uh, and, and they do go 5-4, and four, somewhere, uh, somewhere thereabouts, uh, I think that the head coach would be fired. I think that John Isaac at that point would hire his own head coach and the clock would uh, restart for all intents and purposes on him. Now, he doesn't have a, you know, a five-, seven-year window by any stretch of the imagination. But I do think that Woody Johnson would allow him the opportunity to hire his own head coach. And I think that's fair. You know, I thought it was unfair for both men, uh, John Idzik and Rex Ryan, to be put together the way they were put together by the owner. Uh, but, uh, you know, in a scenario where they finish 6-10, and 10, I can't imagine that Rex Ryan would be back, even though it's not his fault. I think he's going to be the fall guy here. I think everything you said just a moment ago is 100% on the mark. Players do not quit on him. He's a, a tremendous motivator, obviously an extremely uh, good defensive mind. But uh, in a scenario where they finish with 10 losses and miss the playoffs again, I, I don't see him being back in 2015. Manish, thanks so much for calling, and I appreciate it. 
Anytime, Rich. Take you care. Bet. That's Manish Mehta of uh, the New York Daily News. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.